big that the attack happened. June 19th, 2012. June 19th, 2012. June 19th, 2012. June 19th, 2012. Uh, it was June 19th. June 19th, 2012. And uh, when did you get married? Babe, when did we get married? When did we get married? <laughs> this event is Happy Alive Day, and it's always centered or placed around June 19th because that's the day where all of our lives changed. We were sleeping and got attacked. Is it? We should not be in this location. Uh, we were surrounded by just outside the main gate. When I say main gate, I mean a pipe that came down. That's it. That's all that protected us. That's how secure we were. So we manned our two towers like nobody's business. They came in untouched, untouched. And all of a sudden, I um, heard a big explosion. And I sat there for a second, I was like, nah, that, was the, that was the generator. <laughs> that was the generator backfiring or something, you know. Then all of a sudden, I heard a bunch of AK rounds, and that's when I knew that we were uh, under attack at that point. I was shot through both legs. One bullet fell right to my knees. Really, the only thing I remember thinking about was a daddy-daughter dance. My wife was seven months pregnant at the time, and we knew it was a girl. That was really the only thing I remember, that and being really thirsty. Everyone started gearing up and piling out the door. Barger and... Uh, and Hoffman were the first two out the door. Um, I was trying to secure radio comms. Of course, Murphy lives in my back pocket. My radio comms were dead. My cell phone was dead. Kept hearing gunfire, kept hearing gunfire, pushing everybody out. Bowdish goes through the door. He said, I'm headed to the aid station. I said, I'm right behind you. And as we went out the door, he took AK fire right to the legs and the groin. Boom, 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 down he goes. Time slows down. I don't know how to explain it, but I watched every bullet hit my body. I remember trying to stand up a bunch, but slipping my own blood and falling. And, uh, I remember at that time being a medic, kind of like diagnosed my own injuries, knowing that I got shot in my left leg, right leg, and two in the stomach. Knowing that in our medevac site from where we were at, it's like 30, 30 minutes out. Kind of knew that I probably wasn't going to live. The explosion happened. I felt the concussive wave and went black. And when I woke up, I was on my face, on the ground, covered in tent material and all kinds of who knows what. And I reached up with my left eye and thought, nah, oh, crap, it's gone. I knew immediately that my eye was gone. They were not sure if I was gonna make it out or not. With the damage that had been done to my face, the grenade piece that is embedded in the back of my brain says that I am not supposed to be alive. I'm not supposed to see, I'm not supposed to be able to talk. There are four sections in my brain that were damaged severely by a concussive wave and a piece of shrapnel about the size of a dime that went right straight through. I don't know if it's necessarily the brotherhood of the military, but it's more of the brotherhood of the 303rd, especially 2nd Platoon. You only develop that level of trust based upon going to war. You can only do that. Another man with a rifle behind your back, it's the only way you gain that trust. You have to. That's how you live. That's the family that we raised in the Army, if you will, because we were a family. We took care of each other. Even in the worst of times, took care of each other, and we're still doing it to this day. And also, when we come here, we get to see the families grow. We get to see the positive things that have happened, and it's reassuring because I'll tell you, when that day happens, it sucks. On June 19th every year, they get five minutes of my life. I let them take five minutes on that day to control my anger. And I feel the blood boil. And I want to go back and kill every one of them. 
After that five minutes is done, I reset. I drink a stiff drink, I smoke a nice cigar, I inhale, and I take in all of this. And this day helps me get through because I know my guys are still alive. They're still taking care of each other. <laughs>